Look at that Empire State Building, just glistening in the distance there. That is the Empire State Building. I'm on my first look of my long journey home here in New York City at uh, the Madison Square Garden. On my way to B&H, and I've just got the one day here in New York today to, to have some fun, really. Okay, I'm gonna go and do some New York Cityscape photography, which is, you know, pretty cool. Although, it's, it's very cliche. Every tourist around the world comes to New York, and they take their little touristy photos with their Nikons and their Canons and stuff like that, but you know what? I have got... So blood. All I want to do is try to get, try to get something a little bit unique, extremely high quality, put the high dynamic range of this camera to good use, and I want to, you know, for the most part, I don't want to like reinvent the wheel with some kind of tourist photography in New York. Oh, look at that Empire State Building. Day starts early, I'm extremely jet lagged in a good way, so I can wake up at about 7 a.m. I'm up and I'm going now down to the Mecca, the Mecca of photography in the entire world, B&H photo, where it's basically kind of like 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 the, the Gringotts, you know, the, the bank in Harry Potter. This is really the center of photography in the entire world. They have everything you could ever need for any department, any brand. So I'm gonna go there for a bit of inspiration. Maybe check out some toys, maybe get some GoPro stuff. I wanna come away from today with some really interesting cityscape photography. And that could be, that could be skyline, that could be food, that could be taxis going down the street, but it's gotta be a, like a you know, multi-dimensional, interesting, unique, a little bit creative take on the same kind of photos that every idiot and every family with a camera who comes to New York is doing. So, I want to do that pro style. All I've got to do today, day off, do some shopping, have some drinks, have some food, do some meetings, take a lot of photos, and then go to sleep by 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So, life is pretty good. Stop number one, the toy shop. So here it is, the Mecca, the Mecca. And everyone who knows photography, if you want any question answered, first thing you're gonna do to find out about your camera or whatever, you're Googling B&H and all their products. And my God, it's like a city block in New York City. I've got to take you for a little tour. A little tour of this vault of amazingness. This is toy shop. This is what makes everyone happy. Oh. My God. My, like, they're not, they're not, they're not fooling around here. They've got everything. Look at like all the cameras. Every camera ever. And the best, they're all set up ready to work and use and test and they've got everything here and it's working and it's brilliant. They've got the monitors, they've got full interaction. Oh. What I love about this place is they'll order different things and it'll come from the basement or upstairs or it'll get moved around. So while you're shopping, all these other orders are being like spun around the ceiling. <laughs> It's like, it's like Disneyland or something. I get this sixth sense of relief that when you're in here, you can get, you know you can get exactly what you need. And they'll have it and they've got like lines of experts who know everything about everything. Play with it out in the register, try it with your camera, see how it feels, they ask the questions, they don't give you a guilt trip. One of the few places that I go where you can actually get advice, where you, where the staff know more than the customers, usually the customer knows more than the staff. It's just this brilliantly well-oiled money-making machine, but, but value for money. Everything you need. American capitalism at the best. So I have acquired the, the Porsche Lens 150. Good, and I'm checking out one of these things. This is like the original, the original Hasselblad. And it has the, 
Yeah, we can see it there. The viewfinder at waist level. Really cool, strange to use. And you like, you wind it. I guess. How do you take a photo? Nobody, have nobody knows. The, um, the dark slider. You're all fine with the dark slider on. Uh huh. It's film. Uh, it's film. Oh, it's a real film camera. Sorry. There you go. Oh, the noise of it. This is so cool. All right, let's take some photos of ourselves here. <laughs> manual clicky focus, manual aperture, made by a good Swedish bird watcher from back in the day. What's going on with my aperture here? Widen that out a bit. No, it's so fragile actually. There's our focus. Coming right in, and then we do. I still have no idea how to actually fire the shutter. Do I look like a fool? How do you fire the shutter? Down there. Aha! It's down here. The noise. Right. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's get a let's get a sample of that noise. Awesome, mate. Thank you so much. This is like real Swedish engineering. So cool, thank you. Here's what's really cool about b &H, is that when you actually want to go and pay your money and uh, you know purchase your goods and them to make their profit and a turnover, they have like probably a hundred registers ready and willing with it, with many different options to take, you know, credit card, they got ATM standing by the ready, they got police nearby. It's cool because in a Photoshop they're never gonna ask you to not film in a photography shop. But it's everything that you need. I mean, you don't need to line up for two seconds. And what they do is, you, you know, you pay the money, then it comes down with the magical system, and you're out the door. It's smart, like smiling, happy staff everywhere. It's, it's, this is how shopping should be. This is how it's supposed to be. You come in and get everything you need. Just GoPro stuff for me today. And then you're having a huge, like, education of all, you know, everything that, you're, uh, everything that you need. You want to be in the, you want to be in the video? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Welcome to BNH. We done put Best Buy on knockdown. We the best in the U.S. We internationally known. You already know how we get down. <laughs> it's like I told them it's the Mecca. You come from, you come from all over the world. Just oh, I'm world. sorry. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. So handsome. This one is. He is so he handsome. Is so oh my gosh. gorgeous. Yes. You come for an education and next thing you know you're flirting, getting compliments, yes, telling you you're attractive. Yes, but American customer service could have been any better. I love it. I think I'm sick. I'm sick. Like this is what this is what makes me happy is shopping. Shopping and t and talking about camera stuff. Well, what can you do? I'm in trouble. It's good. Just, just cruising down the street, and you get these little compliments on the camera. Dude's like, Dude, that's a nice camera. And then pe people actually, they'll be like, oh, that's like really the new Hasselblad? Like 14 stops dynamic range, recognizable. How much was it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it's about 35,000 US. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a home or a car or anything like that. I just kind of travel and do photography. But if you can think of anywhere cool that I can go take some photos today, I suggest that I'm going to go to the High Line now. Yeah, definitely do that. That'll yeah. take you right down the meat pack district. It's a really cool trendy area over there. Yeah, nice on a day like today. Thanks, mate. No problem. Just having a little stroll down the High Line here. And it's a nice walk, but there's nothing really creative or interesting in terms of photography. The architecture's cool. The gardens are nice. I mean, it's a really, really sunny day, but it's still so cliche that you can't really do anything interesting with this at all. Unless you really took a lot of time and did something kind of maybe macro or... Otherwise, you're just kind of taking photos of interesting architecture or grass or civic art. So, I don't think this is where I want to get any, any interesting photos for the day. God, jet lag kicks, kicks in. That's a cool building. Good job, New York. And I actually found something that's decent to take a photo of that I can put my good, my new lens to use. And that is this taxi here. Check it out. 
And it's good because if you're going to do like product photography for you know cars or tires or anything like that, you got to have that perspective of what is the equivalent of about 90 millimeters. Um, this, this is really cool. That is a unique photo, and it's a unique take on the yellow New York taxi that everyone takes photos of. We've got some infinity point in the background, which is good. We're down on the west side, which is not the traditional New York tourist area. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. And good morning. Pretty hungover from last night. And just put a little droney to good use. Flying up out around here, checking out the uh, the Empire State Building over there. You can't really see it that well, but out here, this really cool kind of misty fog sense. And when you're flying against the silhouette, flying towards the silhouette of the entire city with the Empire State Building, it looks really cool. You could see when we turned around the other way, you could see all the way down to downtown and the Freedom Tower, the One World Trade Center, uh, and out towards uh, where the Statue of Liberty is. So, yeah, that's all pretty nice. Feeling pretty happy about that. I'm gonna go for a little one hour uh, Central Park walk with all the Hasselblad lenses to see if I can get a little bit more cityscape before I take myself out to the uh, out to the airport. New York City is one of the most fascinating places on the planet. When it comes to photography, it's really the people, the diversity of the people, the intricacies of their style, and the variety of different characters that you see around the place that makes shooting really interesting. And it's the shops and the restaurants and the food and the art and the culture that makes New York the kind of place that you can go on a regular basis and always be stimulated when shooting with your camera. And the city itself is always a buzz. New York, perfect combination of eclectic, detailed photography and epic skylines and timeless, iconic tourist photography. If you love photography, if you love travel, if you love videography, editing and production, I make these videos for you to teach you as much as I know about it and the life experiences that I've had. So make sure that you like and subscribe and share these kind of videos with your friends because there's plenty more to come.